He gets him as a Christmas gift. And, you know, it's kind of like one of those talking bears where you squeeze its hand and it says, I love you, and that's pretty much it. And, you know, he doesn't have many friends growing up in the neighborhood that he's growing up in, so Ted becomes his best friend and he makes a wish that the bear would come to life and his, you know, his Christmas wish is granted. And uh, it's a very funny scene when the bear first starts talking uh, with, the, with the parents in the kitchen. Very funny scene. She's a great girlfriend. She doesn't mind me hanging out every once in a while. She's not really like a, you know, nagging type of girlfriend, you know. Um, but, and she's, she's got a point, you know, because I just, I keep going in the wrong direction, you know. It's okay to, you know, to have your fun every once in a while, but at a certain age, you gotta, you know, you gotta step up and be a man. You got responsibilities and, you know, uh, you're in this relationship and she wants a bigger commitment. It took a little while to get used to, but uh, I once, once we got into the swing of things, I started feeling, you know, very comfortable with the idea of just acting opposite the whatever they had, whether they had the, the stuffed bear there or they had the, uh, the little stick with the eyes on it. And then, of course, having Seth, you know, somewhere in the room doing the voice was also very helpful. You never know what to expect, um, but we hit it off really well when we met and hung out. And, it was a very, very pleasant experience. You know, he's just such a nice, warm guy. Uh, as funny as any human being I've ever met in my life, but he's just really cool and easy to work with. You know, there was never any stress or, you know, any difficulty. They love this movie. I mean, they pretty much sit around most of the time watching TV or watching sports, and they just both grew up loving the movie. And then, uh, you know, because of Ted's notoriety, he has a connection with somebody who knows Sam Jones' cousin. So I'm off at a party with Laurie, really trying to now, you know, I'm on probation pretty much, and I'm trying to be an adult. And Ted calls me from his new apartment saying that not only is he having a party, but Sam Jones himself is there. So. It just starts eating at me and, you know, she's at a big party for work with her boss and, and I just decide that I'm going to confide in her boss and run out for 15 minutes just to say hello to Sam, have one drink so I can say I had a drink with Flash Gordon and then come back. You know, it's a relationship comedy, but it also has, you know, action, adventure, you know, it's, it's got this kind of suspense element to it when once, I don't want to tell you what happens to Ted, but, but, uh, it's cool. I mean, I, I read the script, like I said, 30 minutes into it. I completely forgot that it was about a teddy bear. You know, I just thought, well, it's about these guys who are best friends and great relationship. People will not be disappointed. It's, uh, it's Seth on steroids. You know, it really is. Because I saw Family Guy and I was like, wow, I couldn't believe that, you know, he was getting away with some of that stuff in the cartoon. But now, a feature film, Ray Dorar, he really, really pushes the envelope. There's nobody he doesn't offend either. He's, you know, across the board, everybody's fair game.